In the figure, L, S, and N are the vertices of a triangle. First question, calculate the length of S, L. Okay, so that's just going to be distance formula, which is then just going to be X2 take away X1 plus Y2 take away Y1. So let's maybe say this is point 0.1, this is point 0.2. So now you just go fill in the formula, which is X value of point number 2, which is minus 4. X value of point number 1 is 4. Y value of point number two is one. Y value of point number one is five. Okay, go ahead and just type that all in on the calculator and you should get four square root five. Leave your answer in a square root because they said um, leave your answer in third form. Right, this question, calculate the gradient of SN. So these are easy marks here guys because um, this is just using formulas. So Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So this is now for Sn, so we can call this point number one, for example, and this number two, you can do it the other way, it doesn't matter. So minus three minus five, and then minus two minus four. That'll simplify to four over three. Calculate the size of theta. Okay, so we've spoken about this before. We know that if you have gradient, then we can use tan to get inclination. So we can just simply say um, shift tan of the gradient and that'll give us the angle, 53.13 degrees. There we go. Calculate the size of angle N. Okay, so whenever they give you this situation, I've seen them do this a lot, where N is a little angle here. All you do is you make a triangle with the, horizon with the horizontal. You wanna be able to use a horizontal because now we know this angle, so that means we know this angle. Now we can just use this line get its inclination angles, and then it's easy to quickly come into this triangle and work out that. They do this a lot. So we can, for example, go work out this angle just because of vertically opposite of here. So we can just say that that's angle K O N, and that's gonna be equal to 53.13 degrees because of vertically opposite angles, vert op angles. Um, okay, so we have this angle. Now we can work out the gradient of this line. So the gradient of LN, gradient formula, you can call whichever one you want one and whichever one you want two, it will give you the same answer. And so one take away minus three, and then minus four take away minus two. And if we had to go work this all out, we end up with negative two. Okay, now when you get your um, inclination angle, don't use negative two, just use positive two. So shift tan of two, and that'll be 63.43 degrees. Now, if you look at this area over here, where do you think the 63.43 is? Is it this one or is it this one? Well, it's this one, it's the smaller one, okay? It's the one that's less than 90 degrees. So this is gonna be 63.43 degrees. So that means this angle, because of vertically opposite, would also be 63.43. So we could say that angle N, K, O, is gonna be 63.43 degrees, and that is because of vert opposite angles. So now we have this angle, and now we can just use sum of angles in a triangle. So triangle, so angle N, or they called it LNS, let's rather do that, is gonna be 180 minus 63.43 minus 53.13, and that is because of sum of angles in a triangle, and so that'll be 63.44 degrees, 63.44 degrees. Determine the equation of the line which passes through L, okay, so it passes through L, and is parallel to Sn. Okay, so if Y is equal to MX plus C, if two lines are parallel, so it's a line that goes something like this, more like that. So these two lines are parallel, so they have the same gradient, so therefore the gradient of this line will be four over three, like we worked out for SN earlier. To find C, you just plug a point on this line. Can you see one? There it is, it's L. Um, so the Y is one, the X is minus four. And so if you had to work out C, you end up with 19 over three. And so Y is four over three X plus 19 over three. Calculate the area of triangle L S N, so triangle L S N. Um, oh, it's the whole thing. Okay, so they want the area of that entire triangle. So there's different ways to get um, area. 
let's try to use what we already have. So we already have the length of SL, okay? So that means if we could simply get the length of this one, then we can just use the half base times height because it's got the 90 degree. So let's go get the length of LN. So the length of LN is going to be, um, you're gonna use the distance formula. And so let's say for example, this is 0.2 and this is 0.1. And so then if we just go fill this all in, it's gonna be uh, minus four, take away minus two and one take away minus three. And so if we had to go work this all out, you get two square root five. And so now to work out the area, we can just say half base times height. So it doesn't matter which one uses the base and which one uses the height. Um, so we're gonna say, let's say it's the length of LS and then LN. And so that's gonna be half times uh, four square root five, which is what we got for SL earlier and then two square root five, which is what we've just got now. And so that's gonna be 20. And they didn't really give us units, so we'll just say units squared. This one says calculate the coordinates of point P, which is equidistant from L, S, and N. So point P is equidistant from L, from S, and from N. That would mean then that L, S, N could be a circle and point P would have to be the center of that circle. Because then, to all places, that would be the radius. But we already know that this line must be the diameter of that circle because only a diameter could make a 90 degrees. So that means point P is somewhere on this um, line over here. So to find out exactly where that is, you could just go find the um, let's just do this a bit better. You could just go find the midpoint of these two points. So the midpoint of S N is going to be um, the midpoint formula, which is X one plus X two, Y one plus Y two over two. So we could, for example, call this point one and we could call that point two. So that's gonna end up being uh, minus two plus four over two minus three plus five over two. And so that's gonna end up being one and minus three plus five is two, also one. Okay, so point P would be one and one. When, th when a point is equidistant from other points, you could just make P the center of the circle. And if you have a center of a circle, then the distance to any point on that circle is the same because it's the radius. So that could be like L, N, and S, it would be equidistant, okay? And then I said that point P must be somewhere on, because when I made the circle, I realized that this is making a 90 degree, and that can only happen when you have angles in a semicircle, and that only happens when you have a diameter. So that means this line here was the diameter. And so I knew that my center must be the center of my diameter, which was there, and so I just did the midpoint, okay? Now, the last question for this one says, what is the angle LPS? Only for two marks, thank goodness. LPS, oh, P is over here. So from L to P to S. Well, well, that's a fairly straightforward one because I know that this length and this length are the same because they are the radii of a circle. So that means this angle and this angle have to be the same because this is a isosceles triangle that we're making over here. So there's multiple ways you could do this, but if you, for example, look inside this triangle here, we already know this angle. Uh, we worked that out LNS, we worked that out as 63.44. We know this is a 90 degree, so then we could easily get that angle up there. So angle S would be 180 minus 63.44, minus 90, and that is because of sum of angles in a triangle. And so angle S would be 26.56 degrees. So that's this one, 26.56. But that would mean that this is also 26.56. So that would be angle uh, PLS would also be 26.56.
because those are the angles that are opposite equal sides. So this is 26.56. So then to work out this one, we can just use sum of angles in a triangle. And so that's going to be 180. Oh, sorry, maybe we should write it out a bit better. Um, angle LPS is going to be 180 minus 26.56 minus 26.56. And that is because of sum of angles in a triangle. And so that angle is going to be 126.88 degrees.